Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. In this video, we'll talk about the importance of use bin in JSP. So before starting with use bin, let me create a file here. So let me create a bin because when you talk about use bin, it's more towards bin concept. So let me create a bin for a student and we'll give a package name as com.navin and we'll click on finish. So in order to create a bin, uh, what I need here is, let me remove the comments here. So I have a package name and a class. And here I will write, let's say, a method. Uh, I, need, I need two variables. We'll say the first variable is private uh, int roll number. We'll go for simply solution or simplest code here. And we need one more, which is string s name. So I have two variables here. One is roll number and second is s name. Now to access these variables, what we need is getters and setters. So in, in NetBeans, what you can simply do is you can right click and say uh, insert code. What code I need, I need getters and setters for both the variables and just click on generate. So if you can see, we got all the getters and setters here. Now once you got getters and setters, this is your bean done, right? Now what I want, I will ask user to enter these details, a roll number and a S name. So we'll create a JSP page again and we'll name this JSP as, let's say, index.jsp because uh, this, this should be the home page of my project. In this, let me remove this comment as usual and I don't require this head section. Okay, so what I need here is a form tag in which user will enter some detail so a form tag. Once you click on this form tag, it should call, let's say, a load.jsp because this JSP will be responsible to load the data. And we'll use a two text field. We'll say enter, enter your roll number. We'll give a colon. And here we'll say type equal to text. And the name of this will be, let's say, t1. Okay, so we have, we need two text fields here, one for roll number, second for name. So what I can simply do is I can just copy this code, the same thing. And then we'll say enter your name, uh, type will be text and the name here will be two and we'll save it. We need one more uh, submit button here, so submit equal, type equal to submit and the name doesn't matter, we'll go for the same thing. Now, once you click on the submit button, it will call this load.jsp. Now, so the next task we have is to create that load.jsp. So I will right click here and let's click on JSP and this time we'll name it as load.jsp. Now here, I don't require this head and I don't require this comment. So what we'll do here is, uh, so in this, uh, what I need is a scriptlet. So we'll use a scriptlet here, okay? And in this scriptlet, what I need, I need to create the object of the student so that I will fetch this data, this data, and will set to student. So again, we have multiple ways. First, we can fetch the value. So we'll do, uh, we'll do that. We'll first fetch the value. So we'll say integer roll number. And this roll number you will get from the request parameter. But for, before that, we need to pass int because anything you get from uh, get parameter will be string format. So we'll say request dot get parameter. And in this, we have to mention the name of the field, which is T1. The second field, what we have is the string. So we'll say this is string s name, and we'll say this is request dot get parameter. And in this, you can pass T2. So now you have these two fields, one is T1, which is your roll number and T2, which is your S name. Now, once you got this detail, I want to set this detail to the student object. So we have to say student ST equal to new student. This is how we need to create object, right? So this is specially our bin here, which is ST, also our POJO. So we'll say ST dot, we'll set the roll number. Oh, it's not working. The problem with this, we need to import the package. So we can directly say uh, com dot navin com.navin.student or what we can do is we can just import the package. 
So in order to import the package in GSP, what we need is the import tag. So we'll use, so we'll use here, we'll say page and we'll mention import equal to it is com dot navin. Okay, and we'll say dot student. So we need to import this and we need to finish this uh, this tag will say finish. Okay, now once we got the object, we'll say st dot set roll number, and we'll set the roll number which we got from the user. We'll say st dot set name, and we'll set the name here. Simple. So this is how we need to set the roll number and name. And if you if you want to check that it is getting assigned, what we can do is uh, we'll create one more JSP so that we can send the data, right? Oh uh, yeah, we'll do that also. We'll we'll do one thing. We'll we'll create the object of request dispatcher, uh, or we can yeah. So let's let's create the object of request dispatcher just to demonstrate that uh, the 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 value we're assigning is printing. Or or what? We'll do one thing. We'll do one thing. Let's make it more simple. We'll simply print these values here itself. We'll do that request dispatcher in the next part. So we'll say st dot. Uh, we'll say get roll number. We'll print the value, and we'll say out dot print st dot get s name now if you can see i have not not used use bin yet so i'm going for the traditional way of using of creating the bin object in jsp okay so let me just run this to check if it is working or not so that we can move ahead and do some lots uh, some some uh, modifications so if i run this now so let's run this code of course it will take some time because this is my first run Taking its compiling, compile it done. Hope so. There will not be any error. Doesn't seem so. So it will open my browser, which is default is uh, IE here, and it's asking for two things: a roll number and a name. We'll say roll number is five, and the name is Navin. Uh, it's Navin. If I submit the query here, so the answer is five and Navin. Unfortunately, I have not specified the space there. So what we can do is let's print the space and we'll space or we'll, we'll use a br tag here. Okay. So again for that we need again I'm not using the prop, proper power of JSP here, which should be written outside, but for time being it will do. And now if I run this code, let me change my browser also. Let me set it as Firefox. And if I run this now. Let's run this. It's opening in the Firefox. Uh, oh, error. What's the error? Exception occurs in load.jsp number format. What have, yeah, sorry, I'm so sorry. I've run the load.jsp. I should have run this one. Okay, so it, it's asking for values. Let's say five and again Navin. And if I submit, it says five and Navin, right? So this is what this is how we need to use uh, bin in JSP. But this is not the uh, proper way of using it. It's because JSP gives you extra power of use bin. So instead of creating object in the Java format, you can use something called a JSTL, which is Java JSP standard tag libraries, in which uh, it, if you are using those libraries, it will be very easy for your designers to look at your code. Right? So, uh, so it, the replacement for this here, we should be using use bin. Now, how exactly we can replace this code with use bin that we'll see in the next part of the tutorial.